The Chicago Lighthouse presents How to Read Using Optical Devices. Hi, this is Tom Persky from the Chicago Lighthouse, and I'm here today to talk about reading with optical devices. I myself also have macular degeneration and have attended a low vision evaluation many times throughout my lifetime. And I just want to briefly share with you some of the devices that are out there on the marketplace when you go to a low vision specialist. We have low vision optometrists who can measure your vision in each eye. And oftentimes a person with mild or moderate loss due to macular degeneration don't have the same vision any longer in each eye. So one eye might be stronger than the other. And so they're going to measure and evaluate what lenses are going to be the best for you so this would not be typically done in an eye doctor's office. We would want you to keep your regular eye appointments, but coming for a low vision special evaluation is important. One of the things that um, they start out with might be a pair of strong, we call them half eye glasses, because these can be worn where you can look over the top to grab your iced tea. And then when it's time to read, because they're strong, depending on the um, strength of the lens, um, these can be held closer and be able to look down and of course you would have to take your regular glasses off to read this way but this is a very uh, easy way to see a lot of words at one time in fact right now I can see the entire page but then as vision worsens or if you need a stronger lens they would actually prescribe something much stronger than that and so the big adjustment would be having to hold things very, very close. For instance, plus 10 diopters might be a focal distance of about four inches. So that's a big adjustment for people, but it's only one way or one tool that a person can have in reading with optical devices. Another way to read with optical devices, for instance, this lens here is a plus 10 and it's a, an illuminated handheld magnifier. So this allows a person to read in a dark restaurant or uh, in, in a grocery store for food labels and medication labels. And um, its focal point is stronger than normal. Um, a magnifier this strong will not cover a large territory or a whole page. There is no such thing right now in optical devices that would cover a whole page that could still be strong. And so these uh, work in being able to find the right focal distance. I use actually the back of my hand to keep it steady and it must remain uh, a few inches from the page. Uh, these lenses, as they get stronger, the actual lens is thicker, so they become stronger. So this next size, or approximately four times magnification, would be a round lens. And again, it focuses uh, a little bit closer to the page. Now, if I hold this lens to read, I can see two words at this time at this distance. If I bring it closer, I can see about three words. And if I bring it all the way up to my eye, I can actually see the whole column of print. So many of us who have been using magnifiers to read for a long period of time, we know that trick. And the trick is closer is the front of the lens is to your eye the bigger the area you see underneath the lens. Even stronger lenses, again, they get smaller, which is the big adjustment or frustration. So this lens would be a six times magnification. Now I can only see like one and a half words. So again, it forces me to bring it up and be able to uh, bring it right close to my eye to be able to see more at one time. Another way to read would involve a, optical device called a stand magnifier. We talked about handheld illuminated magnifiers. These stand magnifiers are good in positions where a person might want to read for a long period of time and not have to hold the device up in the air. So the stand or this plastic stand actually measures the distance for you to the page and it can uh, usually comes illuminated where there's a switch to turn it on. And then a person can move the stand magnifier along to read the page. Again, the stronger the lens, the smaller the lens. Uh, 
persons with uh, maybe a small tremor or a weakness in their hands do really well with a, a stand magnifier. Oftentimes, in the low vision appointment, they will also talk about different ways to elevate the reading material, book stands or reading stands, to also make it easier. Uh, a person would probably read with their bifocal lens uh, if they had glasses on, looking down through the bifocal through the stand magnifier, where reading with an optical magnifier like the illuminated handheld would probably most likely look through the top part of their glasses. So there's lots of uh, adjustments. There's lots of ways to, to learn of how to read uh, more appropriately and, and to have some success. And that's where the training and the evaluation comes in. There are other small optical devices. Uh, one that's really popular is just a small pocket magnifier that pulls out and then it's good for spotting. It's not really for reading, but spotting a price tag in the store or a little bit of a menu in a restaurant. Uh, can be very, very helpful. So these are some of the devices and we're glad that you could join us today. Please see some of our other videos on how to read with um, video and other magnification uh, devices. This is Tom Persky. Thank you. To find out more about optical devices for reading, call us at 312-997-3686.